Printing on packages isn't just the listing of ingredients or instructions. It's also the complex art of product identification, as well as creating an appealing, attractive look for the consumer. All consumer products are packaged, and the making of these packages starts with the burning of an aluminum plate like this one. This animation illustrates the burning process, the transfer of an image onto an aluminum plate. The plate is placed onto a cylinder, and using a laser, the burning begins. The image appears in six minutes. This plate will make the printing impressions on packages. The laser which did the burning has to be perfectly calibrated using this test plate. The plate is now ready to make impressions via the offset method. Printing involves ink, and it requires selecting the right one. If the desired color does not exist, it has to be made up from a mix of various other colors. An ink trial is done with a spatula. And using this small manual press, color ink tests are done. The ink is spread onto paper, and the color compared with the one called for by the customer. If the two match, the presses can be started up. This is a six-color offset process printing press with a 72 by 108 centimeter capacity. The press is fed by a suction and friction process, devouring 8,000 sheets an hour. Now the printing plate is placed onto the press cylinder. This plate will contact inking rollers of the ink reservoir. To prevent it from drying, ink viscosity is maintained with this oscillator. The press starts up and reaches a production rate of 8,000 impressions in 60 minutes. The press comprises individual color printing units. The paper sheet passes from one unit to another, receiving a new color at each step. Here they register the colors, that is, the quality of the superimposition of the different colors. The final step is the folding and gluing of the boxes. This grooved plate makes folding point marks on the carton. And this machine does the cutting, the embossing and stripping of the sheets at a rate of 6,000 an hour. The cutting die cuts the carton sheets and, together with the grooved plate, makes the folding joints. This sheet is slid behind the cutting die to equalize the cutting of the sheets. This enormous pile of 3,000 sheets is ready to be cut. The embossing press feeder handles between 6 and 8,000 sheets an hour. Rollers guide the sheets in the direction of the press. And here, the sheets are embossed by the machine. The precision of the embossing is then verified. Next comes the cutting of the sheets. This goes on at 8,000 an hour. The cutting unit strips and removes the unnecessary pieces, and the carton scraps are sucked up for eventual recycling. The scraps can also be cut away manually by using a hammer. And the carton end pieces are sent off for recycling. All that remains is the assembly of the packages. This high-speed gluing unit can make up 30 to 40,000 per hour. Gluing begins with the folding of the sheets, following the folding marks. The sides of the form box are then glued together. An average of between five to eight steps are needed to fabricate a packaging box. Every day, this plant produces between one and two million boxes, requiring almost 4,000 tons of cardboard annually.